Hi, I'm Ashley Gagne, and today I'd like to talk with you about the phenomenon that's sweeping our nation, better yet our world. Do you know what I'm referring to? Yep, Pokemon Go. While I haven't played the app myself, I did read an interesting article on Forbes.com that I'd like to share with you. It was titled, More Women Than Men Are Playing Pokemon Go by a Lot. This made me wonder just how many women are using the Pokemon Go app. Here are some statistics they included in the article. They calculated them using SurveyMonkey. Let's focus on gender. According to their study, 63% of Pokemon Go players are female, and only 37% are male. They also included the fact that as of last Wednesday, there were 22 million people using the app daily. Let's do some math and calculate just how many female players there are out there. First, let's talk about the word percent. The root word I underline cent means 100. Just like in dollars and cents, it takes 100 cents to make a dollar. And a centipede has 100 legs. So per cent literally means per 100 or out of 100. All right, now let's calculate how many female Pokemon Go players there are. There's those statistics again. Let's take the 63% and write it as a ratio. 63% means 63 per 100. So we'll write 63 out of 100. 63 out of every 100 players are female. The other fact that we had was the 22 million total app users. That's our total. We'll put it on the bottom of our second ratio. To make it simpler, I'll just use 22 instead of the whole 22 million. We want to figure out the parts that are female. So I'll put a variable in place of the number we don't know. I'll use x. You could use f or any other letter that you like as your variable. We'll set these two ratios equal to each other, and now we have what's called a proportion. Two equal ratios. When you have a proportion, their cross products will be equal. Product means multiply. So that means when I multiply these two numbers, I would be the same thing as I would get when I multiply these two numbers. We'll use that to help us solve this proportion. Let's do this first cross product. 100 times x. We write that as 100 x. My second cross product is what I get when I multiply 63 times 22. I'll do that off to the side over here. 63 times 22. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 6 is 12. My placeholder, 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 6 is 12. Now I'll add down the column. And I get 1,386. That's our second cross product. So we'll set that equal to our first cross product. Remember, we're trying to find the part of the 22 million that were female, so I want to find out what the x is by itself. In order to isolate this x or get it by itself, I have to undo this multiplication that's being done to it. So I'll use the inverse of multiplication, which is division, and I'll divide by 100. When solving equations, don't forget that if I do division by divide by 100 on this side, I also have to divide this side by 100 to maintain the equality. 100 divided by 100 is 1, so I have 1x or just x, which is what we wanted. And now on the other side, that would be equal to 1,386 divided by 100. Since we work in a base 10 system, dividing by 100 is easy. We just find the decimal point, which in this case would be right here at f and 6, and I move it two spaces to the left to divide by 100. And I get 13 and 86 hundredths. Don't forget to label your answer since we were working in millions. So there were almost 14 million females playing Pokemon Go. Maybe I need to figure out what this app is all about. Now I also wanted to include the fact that the article stated that the makers of the app would neither confirm nor deny these statistics, and the CEO said he would be surprised if they were true. It's always important to consider how your statistics are gathered before believing them as facts. Well, thanks for watching. Now go catch those Pokemon and remember to play safely.